And welcome back to Coast to Coast. We're going to bring in Joni Struther now. Joni, of course, was part of the film The Hidden Hand as well. Hi, Joni. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. Tell us a little bit about you and your experiences. Well, this uh, I started having these experiences when I was a very young child. Uh, it began when I was four. I I was living in New Jersey, and I went missing for four hours, and I was picked up by a policeman, and I was identified, and there was no recollection for years. We didn't talk about it. Your parents must have been going crazy trying to find Oh, my mother, yes. Um, Shortly after that incident, my mother had a nervous breakdown, and we never spoke about any of that, and... Anyway, when I was in my 20s, I began to experience a lot of missing time. I would see these fetus being removed from me. Then later on, uh, I knew I was a breathing, I was part of the breathing program from my 20s around my late 30s. And uh, Did they ever hurt you? Yes, they have. Yeah. They're very evil. I I really I've a lot of my experiences were traumatic, but some of them lately are not as traumatic. It's almost like I I no longer see children. I see young adults. Could they have been age. could they have been the children who have now grown up? Well, as far as I know, I probably bred five children that I know of, and they're all female. And What do they look like, Joni? Mostly human. They do? Okay. I mean, could, could you tell the difference? Yes, I can. You can, okay. They do have telepathic abilities, and, and uh, recently I had contact with hybrids, and I was recently taken to a camp where I got to meet... There were at least 500 hybrids, and they were doing some kind of remote viewing program, and they had a handful of regular humans, and they were being taught how to really, it's sort of a program, a remote viewing program. Are the humans being held? Uh, These humans, they were like me, probably being abducted. I know I was taken to an underground facility. This happened currently maybe about late May. Now the facility would be on planet Earth or someplace else? Oh, I believe it was somewhere close to my house, and it felt Ah, like a flat land. I live in Texas. Okay. So it could have been New Mexico or Texas, but it looked to me like it was West Texas. I was taken... It was like an unmarked vehicle, and I was drugged, and they took my entire family. And when you say they, who are we talking about? Well, at first I thought they were human, and they have a distinct smell about them. And I could tell they're working with the grace. What do they, I mean, they smell like an animal or, or what? Well, they do have a distinct smell. It's more like trash can, kind of like... <laughs> uh, Sulfur. Okay, like, they do like have, eggs. Uh, they well, they like do eggs. smell like the grays. That's okay. why I know they were hybrids. They have telepathic abilities. Uh, I know one of the young men that was showing me around, he seemed much friendlier and had better social skills than the rest of them. But uh, this has been going on my entire life. Um, I think the most dramatic event of my entire life was in 1998. I was taken aboard a spacecraft, and this time I was taken by the Greys. And <sighs> I thought they were good, nice. Uh, well, you know the part they they show you affection and they tell you they're not going to hurt you, and then they, they do. They trick you. So uh, to me, I really don't trust them. I think they're liars. Um, Obviously, they're interested in humanity. There's something interesting about us. You know, they want to breathe. They want to integrate. They don't know how. What do you think they're doing with all these hybrids? 
Um, I'm being told that they, some of them have integrated. They're here. They are here. And uh, yeah. some of them are not quite ready. I was told to, you know, this might sound funny, but I was asked by one of them, you know, how do I make a meal? They take me to their facility. I don't even see pictures on the wall. Everything is so sterile. And they're trying to ask me, how do I cook? Huh. Uh, so they're turning, in you, turning I know you into they Martha can Stewart. Eat. They have a digestive. I know the grays don't. What do they eat? Uh, they're trying to learn how to eat like us. Same kind of food? Correct. Take them to a fast food place. <laughs> They'll never come back again. Well, I was thinking, you know, this could be my getaway. I need to get away from these guys because they do have some kind of control over us. But at the same time, I am resisting a lot of the telepathic communication. I'm I'm fighting these guys. This hybridization program, Joni, do you think that as they intermingle them with us that they're going to try to take us over one day? Well, they're able to control humanity there's more of us than there are of them but if they're able to control the masses yeah they will take over they plan to have a slave society i don't think they like me saying this but they keep telling me isn't that great we're all going to be together you know humans and hybrids they're tricking isn't that great what planetary system are they from i really don't know I really believe where they come from is a very hostile environment. I mean, the images I'm being shown where they're from, it's like a dying race. They are worried about their survival, and they need us. And if they do plan to continue, they are going to colonize. I mean, that's what's happening right now. Any idea... Basically, they're telling us we need to protect the Earth. We need to save the Earth. Well, that's all true. If there's anybody that's going to destroy humanity, it's us. You know, basically, that's what we're being told. I I really don't believe everything I'm being told because they do lie. All right, so you have have given birth to five hybrids. That is correct. That you know of, maybe more. But five that I know of. And a lot of these memories are being unlocked. What would their ages be now? I probably have, I know the youngest one, she's probably about 14. Okay. Uh, I've had contact with one. Are they all here? I really don't know. I'm being taken out of my environment, and I'm being taken places. And every time I'm being taken... It's always different. I'm either in a spacecraft. I'm either... I've never been in an underground facility like I have been lately. I mean, do you have an Earth family? Husband, yes, I do. daughters? And... Yes, I do. I have a daughter. I have a son with autism. They obviously know about this, right? Uh, this has been very traumatic for my family. What do they think? I mean, do they think there's something wrong with you? Do they accept this? Do they believe it? Well, in the beginning, this was so traumatic for my family that we chose not to speak about this. My son gets very upset if I talk about the subject. My husband doesn't say a word. He doesn't believe or disbelieve. Um, They just put up with you, I guess, huh? Well, basically, they know that something happened. We know something happened in my home. Uh, We had to move from the other location. We were having so much uh, electricity, electromagnetic energy. uh, It practically destroyed our home. Is is this emanating? Is it coming from you, Joni, or is it just coming from some other source? Well, from having contact. Okay. But But it's you. You're doing this. I hope not. Because we're doing fine at my new, I have this home we purchased 2004 and so far. Do you care to say what state you're from? How old am I? No, what state are you from? Texas. 
Texas. Okay, and are you still in Texas? Yes, oh. that's correct. Okay. So, I live in Dallas, Texas, Carrollton. Okay, and tell me about this cave that you think is in Texas. I don't think it's a cave. It was a, a facility. It looked like uh, like an underground saucer. I saw government officials there. Do you think it's ours as opposed? I believe to that. Okay. I was. Uh, I felt kind of drugged, and I was taken inside an unmarked vehicle. It was black. This was my recent contact with these people, and I was. I'm sorry, this is so traumatic no, for that's me. all right. Take your time. I was taken. I saw them take my family, and we were all drugged. We They took us through a scanner, and they took each member of my family through, uh, like, a different room. And this is your Earth family we're talking about. That is correct. Okay. And then later on that, e that evening, I was... Once I was processed and they drew blood and they did several testing, I was taken to this camp. This was above ground and I saw soldiers guarding this camp. And I saw a lot of young adults, teenagers, and they were all hybrids. There were like 500 of them. Did they know you? Uh, they, they seemed to know exactly who I was. They knew everything about me. And I was taken on a tour, and I was shown around, and they were asking me basic questions, um, hygiene questions. Uh, it seemed to me they don't know what soap means, so they don't know what, you know, that we're supposed to bathe. To them, I, I guess, you know. They were never taught that. alien. Yeah. They are bastards, and they know that. You know, one of, one of the young men told me, we know we're bastards. We we don't know what it's like to have a parent, so you need to teach us. You know, uh, I asked one of the young men, I don't want to say his name, but he asked me if I, if I knew. Uh, you knew what? I'm sorry. My mind just went, I don't think they want me to say this. But anyway, I was asked questions about hygiene and, and how to do just basic necessities. Are, are, are they planning something? Um, how would you know? I don't know. The plan is, really, I believe they want to integrate. They're not quite ready, and they kept telling me we're running out of time. But this has been going and on. We're ready for the big event. Soon. What is that big event? I have no idea. Whatever they call the big event. I believe they're going to reveal themselves. How many of them do you think there are? Millions now? Hybrids? This has I been going on. Some for of a them long. have already integrated. That's what I was told. But this particular group was being groomed and they're doing some kind of uh, remote viewing program. That's what I was told. But eventually they do want to integrate. And uh, I was told that I would teach them how to become more human-like. Are, are you afraid of them? Told. Yes, I am. Yes, I am very afraid for my family. That's why I'm going public in case anything happens. When did you start going public, Joni? Uh, 1998. So you've been doing it for a while now. How many people are like you that have been used by these ETs? Well, in the past, I've had more contact with the Grace. And uh, I know, uh, you know, my grandmother's in that film, The Hidden Hand. She's had experiences before Roswell. She passed away three months after that film, oh, after the interview. So this has been in my, this has been happening. This is generational. It's, yeah, it's happening to your whole family. To my whole family. Do you think it's happened to your own children? Oh, yes. I wish I can control what's happening. You can't stop it, can you? 
Well, one thing that really did happen in 1998, I gave my heart to Christ. I gave my heart to Jesus, and, I, and this is the only way I can cope because I know he's given me inner strength where I'm able to really challenge what what they want to do, what they want, what do they want, how can we stop this? Well, you know, you're, I want to resist them. You're being violated, so to me, that's evil. Oh, it's very malevolent. This is, this is being done without your choice. I'm sure you would love to stop this if you could, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Um, this contact that I recently had really shook me to the core. It's, it's basically showing me there is an agenda. We're almost at the end of the project. And I really don't want any part of it, but yet I am being forced yeah, to you, work. Yeah, you might not have a choice. Well, I... I want to expose them. I don't care what happens to me. I don't think I'm any use to them, that, so I don't think they're going to kill me. No, they would have done that by now. Exactly. All right, Joni, you take care. Joni, of course, is featured in the film as well, The Hidden Hand.